Hi, I'm Dawn. In this training, we'll learn how to use Microsoft stock images in your Microsoft Office files. Microsoft 365 subscribers now have access to a growing library of royalty-free images, icons, illustrations, videos, and more to use in their documents, presentations, workbooks, and emails. These options are available in Office applications including PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and Outlook. How can you enhance your work by using stock images? We'll look at an example by building a PowerPoint presentation for an upcoming meeting. From the slide where you want to add an image, choose Insert, Pictures, and Stock Images. Now the term stock images can be a bit deceiving because these include so much more. Notice how these options are organized. Images, icons, cutout people, stickers, videos, illustrations, and cartoon people. Or you can click near the top here for more focused categories. So quite a variety of options. For this presentation, I'll put in a search word or term. And so I'm looking for chocolate. Lots of great options. But this looks like one I'll use. Now we can insert more than one image at the same time. But for this, I'll choose Insert. And now we have the image where we can move it, size it, reposition it. But the bonus of adding this image is that we've also enabled the design ideas in PowerPoint. So this is another great tool in PowerPoint 365. Design ideas is supported by many of the standard templates. Check out our video in this channel for more information about design ideas. Although I could manually position this image in this title slide, instead I'll leverage design ideas and let PowerPoint do the work for me. Now with just a few clicks, I have an image and a nice layout for my title slide. Let's try this again. We want to announce that our company will be providing unlimited chocolate for all employees. You can see that Design Ideas is offering suggestions for how to handle this text slide. Let's make this more interesting by adding some images. Once again, Insert, Pictures, Stock Images, and let's look at the other possibilities. Images, Icons, Cutout People, Stickers, if you're in PowerPoint, videos is another option, illustrations, and cartoon people. Not all of these would be appropriate, certainly for a business presentation, but there might be other uses in education or for personal where some of these options can help you to quickly and easily enhance your presentations. Let's go back to cut out people. This gives you a lot of different options. For instance, these are grouped by different people. And so if you wanted to, for instance, use these images of Anthony in multiple places, you have it very easily. But let's search instead for excited people. That is, they found out they can have free chocolate. So let's add some of these images. Well, there's a lot of possibilities here. Let's see. I'll add this excited person. And how about this one? So insert. And at this point now, they're both selected. We have a couple things. We probably want to size them. And we might want to do that individually. So I'll click away and move this image. I need to make it a little bit shorter so that it fits on the screen. And the same with this one. Well, one of the nice things about those cutout people is that they have a transparent background. Let's look at that. When you see these images that have this checkerboard or this grid background, that means that they have a transparent background. This means you can lay them on colored backgrounds for a slide. Other images like illustrations are also transparent. So they're pretty excited about having this free, unlimited chocolate. Let's look at some other options where we can leverage these stock images. So I'll add some text here. I'd like to add an image to this. So once again, insert pictures, 
stock images, and look at illustrations. In these illustrations, the accent color is currently gold, and that may not be what you want, but don't let that put you off because this is easy to change. I'd like to see a laptop, so I'll put in technology as my search, and this one looks like that'll work. I'll select it, insert, and now notice the accent color has changed to fit the theme. I'll size this and move it over to the right, but I could still change that accent color with the illustration selected. Let's look at this context sensitive ribbon tab graphics format and here is graphics fill. So these are the theme colors. Maybe instead I'd like to use the accent color green or for this one I think I'll choose the blue. So once again, in just a couple clicks, we've been able to insert an image and even make modifications to it. I'll add another one. And this is found under icons for chocolate. And what if we want this to be an accent, a logo, something like that. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. But I can go back to that graphics format again and the graphics fill. It doesn't have to be black. I would better to have that be a more appropriate color for chocolate. Another plus is that these illustrations and icons are vector graphics. That means you can resize them without losing quality. And keep in mind that all of these stock images also work in Microsoft Word, Excel, and Outlook. One additional option that's only available in PowerPoint would be to insert videos. Let's try this in stock images then we'll go to the videos tab and as we saw before these are organized by different tabs or categories or by a search that one looks good and i could size this manually or leverage the design ideas to change the layout this could even be full screen let's see what happens when i run this presentation just to run from this slide shift f5 And there's my video. Videos could also be inserted into title slides or section slides to offer a little bit more visual interest. Now that you've seen an overview of the versatile Microsoft stock images, it's good to know how you can use these images. First, review the terms and conditions for your Microsoft 365 subscription. And keep in mind that the terms of using these stock images may change, so this is certainly not legal advice. But right now, according to Microsoft, you can include these stock images in presentations, workbooks, documents, SharePoint team sites, and other Office files that you share or even sell. You can also export those Office files to other formats, such as a PDF. However, you can't copy and paste this creative content to third-party applications to be used in other contexts, such as a website or merchandise. And you're not allowed to use Save As to save this content as separate image files that you could be using outside of Office. Still, the availability of these royalty-free stock images is a huge enhancement to your Microsoft Office presentations, documents, workbooks, and email. And the great news is that Microsoft will continue to update these stock image choices, so expect to have an expanded library in the future. How will you use Microsoft stock images in your next Office project? For more tips on being productive with Microsoft Office, or to sign up for my tips newsletter, visit the softwarepro.com slash office. If this training was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Dawn Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.